Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. In this week's video, I'll show you how to set up a Shopify store for dropshipping from scratch. For anybody new to this channel, my name is Neil Waterhouse and I've been selling online full time for 24 years and I'm the author of Million Dollar eBay Business from Home and Creator Dropship Formula. So let's launch straight into it. To set up a Shopify store from scratch, go to www.shopify.com and you'll see a page like this. But note that Shopify is continually changing and testing their homepage and adding different offers. So don't be surprised if you see a slightly different looking Shopify homepage to this one. Today, as I shoot this, as you can see here, Shopify is offering an energy price of $1 per month for three months. Now to get started, enter your email address here and then click the green start free trial button. Next, choose which setting that best describes you. I'm just starting or I'm already selling online or in person. For this demonstration, I'll select I'm just starting. Next, choose the marketplace or marketplaces that you wish to sell on. For this demonstration, I'll choose an online store, social media and online marketplaces. Now, don't get too bogged down here. You can always add or remove marketplaces on Shopify at any time in the future. Next, choose which social media channels that you wish to sell on. Now, choose which online marketplace that you wish to sell on. Next, choose if you want to sell products through dropshipping. Next, enter your store name. Normally, for branding purposes, your store name will be the same name as your eBay or Amazon username if you have an eBay or Amazon account. If you need help choosing a name that gives buyers the feeling of trust and confidence, I'll put a link at the end of this video to a previous week's video showing how to quickly get a username that gives buyers the feeling of trust and confidence. For this demonstration, I'll just create a store name called Demo Account. Note that as you type in your store name, Shopify will automatically create a URL to your new Shopify store. Note that this URL is just a temporary URL and you can personalize it later on at any stage. Next, choose which country that you'll be selling into. Next, choose a password and now Shopify will display building your store. Well done, that is the foundations work done and your Shopify store is now live and you'll now see the Shopify dashboard. Next, Shopify will email you your link to your new Shopify store. Don't worry for now about this confusing looking link. You can customize it to your own shorter URL later on. When you get your link, click on it. It'll take you to your new Shopify store and it should look like this. Note that Shopify displays a generic image for your shop's homepage banner. And again, you can change that image at any time. Note that your homepage banner should match the name of your Shopify store. Once you've chosen your Shopify name, the next step is to purchase a matching URL, i.e. www.xyz.com. If you don't already have a URL, here is how to get one. First, like I mentioned earlier, you'll need to come up with a name for your website or Shopify store that gives buyers the feeling of trust and confidence. And then check to see if the URL for that name is available to purchase. If you don't already have a name, I'll put a link on the screen and below to a previous week's video showing a quick way to find a name that gives buyers the feeling of trust and confidence. Once you've chosen a name for your Shopify store, check to see if the URL is available for it. To do that, go to a domain supplier and do a search to see if the name is available. The domain supplier that we use is ghostname.com or www.ghostname.com. Note that with domain names, it's normally best to purchase domain names matched to the country that you wish to sell in, i.e. USA, www.xyz.com, Australia, xyz.com.au, UK, xyz.co.uk, Canada, xyz.ca, etc. Next, you'll need to get a logo created to match your domain name. A popular place to get logos made is Fiverr.com, and there you can get logos made from $5 US. Next is your Shopify homepage banner. If you don't already have an image banner and don't know what to put on yours, one quick way to get inspiration to create your own is to first find three competitors for your business and look at their homepage banners. Then get a professional graphic artist to make an image banner based on the banners from those three homepages. This way you're using the three competitors for inspiration and not plagiarism. Again, there are many professional graphic artists at places like Upwork and Fiverr.com who can create a homepage banner for less than $50. Here's a screenshot from Fiverr when I did a search for the keywords Shopify banner. 
And as you can see in the screenshot, prices start from $10 USD for a Shopify banner. If you also want to know the top 12 ways to drive traffic to your Shopify store, make sure you watch this video up here and I'll put a link on the screen and below. Until next week, stay safe, list more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.